are you suffering from umbilical hernia, diastasis recti, or anyone with weak pelvic floor and weak core muscles due to postpartum, or anyone who's just suffering from it because of sedentary lifestyle? Hi, my name is Annie, and welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. Join me for a lovely, gentle progression for those suffering from weak pelvic floor, with umbilical hernia, diastasis recti, or anyone, anything in between of those syndromes. And you need a gentle core activating Pilates to strengthen your core muscles safely and effectively. So get your mat ready and join me. My friends, let's discuss a little bit anatomy about your abdominal muscles while you're suffering from diastasis recti or if you're suffering from umbilical hernia. They're a little bit correlated and they're a little bit close together, especially the gap. If you have a gap and you don't know how to keep them together. So let's discuss a little bit anatomy about your rectus abdominis, which is the muscles we call the six packs, which is superficial abdominal muscles because we have different abdominal muscles that support your core. Because the core muscles are not just your abdominal muscles, you have the lumbar pelvic hip complex as well that helps your core muscles and your pelvic floor. And if you have underwent pregnancy, then you have some complications such as these when there's a gap on your rectus abdominis, which is the six packs. So this is the superficial muscle. So this is the first one that really gets really pushed out and stretched, especially on your third trimester. And then the linea alba is a fascia that holds the six packs together. And usually with the hormones of pregnancy, it gets ripped apart and you don't know how to strengthen and activate it because it's separated. So the best way is first to really use abdominal binder, especially if you're lifting your baby and you're lifting and doing some higher impact activities. So my best recommendation is don't do any strength training that causes more strain on this area, such as running, jumping. If you have this separation and if you want to do those activities, my best recommendation is to see your doctor and local physical therapist before proceeding to any exercise program. And if you have that gap is to preserve and hold it together, even though you're pregnancy has been more than a year and you still have the gap because you're not healing it you don't put it together of course nutrition is important having higher rich food of collagen protein to build these fibers together and usually surgery is the last resort if you have this gap that's more than four inches apart and there's a special test you can check out if you want to know about the test, check out the link on the description or here in the info guard about how to check a special test on how to check if you have a gap to make sure you have the diastasis recti. And about the umbilical hernia, so on your navel, it gets pushed out, especially in the third trimester. I experienced it also with my pregnancy when my umbilical hernia happened because of the baby pushing my intestines out and because of the diastasis recti and then the umbilical hernia starts pushing it out. And the best way also is to use that binder when you're doing higher impact activities and to keep wearing it, but you don't want to keep your core weak. So that's why core exercise is so important to activate those muscles. And the muscles that's very important to activate is your transverse abdominis, which is a deeper muscles, not the rectus abdominis. The transverse abdominis or the TVA is the natural corset that wraps around all the way to your lumbar spine. That's why those with weak core end up having low back pain as well. So let's begin the program. Let's start lying on your back because when you're lying on your back, the gravity helps your organs to be in and not push out. And you will want to place your hand on your abdomen and let's start with breath work. So as you inhale, push your belly out, place your hand at the small of your back to keep that neutral spine and then breathe out, pull your navel in, exhale. And once you activate, embrace this abdominal bracing with vacuum, pushing, pulling it in and really sucking it in to push them all together. As you inhale, slowly lift one leg up to tabletop to 90 degrees, inhale, exhale down, alternating left and right. So when you march left and right, you're activating your hip flexors as well and the lower abdominal area. So slowly warm it up, left and right. Try not to pull your knee close to your chest as much, only 90 degrees. Inhale and exhale. Five more. Feel so good on your hips. Four. Three, two, and one. Now, let's progress by lifting both legs up. 
inhale exhale down try not to lift your head up because once you lift your head up you're gonna do some abdominal crunches and you don't want that so just tap gently with your toes down to the mat and then lift squeezing your core in with your breath work one breath one motion so I, as i press down breathe in breathe out squeezing your core in engage your abdominal muscles five four three two and one and then once you engage those now we're going to do butterfly separate your feet apart in double table top position to stretch your hip groin as well inhale exhale squeezing your core in as you do butterfly in tabletop position five four three if you notice i'm really breathing engaging my core and my breath work two and one well done now lower your feet down let's rest your lower abdominals let's engage your glutes muscles let's do this as a cohesive motion lift your hips up try not to overarch your spine belly breath up inhale exhale squeeze your core in and then roll down bone to bone to the mat and breathe out inhale lift belly breath i'm expanding my belly giving space to activate and then squeeze your core in and breathe out slowly roll down five more five four squeeze your glutes squeeze your core three two and now last one and one hold that bridge and we're gonna do a butterfly separating your knees apart holding the bridge inhale exhale tightening everything together five four three two and one hold that position static hold and isometrics is so important to really strengthen these muscles while holding that bridge you're gonna do lifting your heels up heel raises hold that bridge up and down five four three two and one and now let's progress by keeping that those heels up in tippy toes and hold that bridge and we'll do a pulse like a few inches up and down squeeze your core in squeeze your glutes and five squeeze four three two and one and slowly roll down well done now let's strengthen your core more by extending your right knee toes pointing to the heavens and do a small circle like a size of a small dish keeping your core engaged lock your knee five four three two one and then switch to the other side and make circles like a small dish five four three two and one well done now to activate your abdominal muscles safely again without straining your your back and straining your abdominal muscles lift your feet up again knees bent you're gonna alternating right and left extending hold that tabletop left and right extend as much as you can this is the next progression if this is too difficult then stop you don't want to do too much to point of pain five squeeze your core in four three two and one and then next progression is double knee bends with your knees bent slowly lift your hands up as you extend your heels your knees together and heels together with your toes apart inhale and then exhale hug your knees with your hands and reach it over to your chest knee to chest and then extend heels together i'm placing my heels together my feet apart to a v position and then hug it again exhale inhale squeeze your core in exhale hug five four three two we're almost done and one and that's it i'm hoping you enjoyed my lovely simple absolute beginner core workout to help your diastasis fracture or umbilical hernia if you need my help and guidance i'll be opening and launching a new course for those absolute beginners for pelvic floor health revive pelvic floor health click the link in the description below be part of my early bird wait list for first come first serve basis and if you're having back pain i have a back master class you can also join check out on the description below 
If you love this video and want to learn more about Pilates Yoga, Physical Therapy, Health and Wellness, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you won't miss anything. Like and share this video, every like you're giving to my channel, you are supporting me. If you need more help and guidance, I have another video you can check out, a wall exercise video you can check out over here for those pel weak pelvic floor activating wall pilates and i also have diastasis recti video you can check out here to test if you have this condition until my next video training always remember be safe be well and healthy you bye